I don't like being up on this roof at all. CW's going around there, and we're gonna tie this tractor up to this little rope. The pitch is a 512, and it's just a little bit creep. Uh, no, this is a 6 612 pitch on this roof. A little bit more than I like to be on, guys. Just to keep everybody updated, there's a pile of sheetrock, drywall, whatever you want to call it, that I gotta install here in this uh garage house here is a chimney kit after i get done with that guys we're getting ready to put a chimney kit in this garage there's some stove pipe gonna get a wood stove in here up against this wall and it's gonna be a little bit of a job to get done and as you can see i've already started clearing out a space here uh, of course i had to put my boat outside but anyways, I'm clearing out a spot. We'll get the lift up, get the uh, chimney in, get a stove in here, and get back to work on some fun projects. Putting this uh, chimney kit up. This is a Lowe's chimney kit, and it'll fit on the side of the building. I don't like the ones that go through the roof because they always leak. So this one will go through the wall. And it's pretty cool. Very simple. I just bolted these uh, together. I don't want to get too far ahead without filming. This, this elbow right here, our uh, T, it's got a clean out on it. So, I think that's pretty cool. So this bracket just fits on top of the T like that and you just twist it, that locks it. What I'm gonna do is put it on the inside and cut the hole and then I'll take this on the outside and screw it up. The things I do for you people. I had to set the tripod up on the tractor and get it all propped up so you can see exactly what's going on. But that's what I do because I am, in fact, the one and only Kentucky Yankee. Fifteen inches on the top. The bottom needs to be fifteen inches wide. Doing this just to drill a hole out uh, on the metal and I'm going to transfer this whole piece to the outside. I'm just holding this up temporarily here for now. Now I'm taking this sharpie and just trace the pipe out inside here where I know where to cut it with a tin snips. Really rough tracing of that because of this T, you know, kind of in the way. I'm going to take it all down, get a piece of pipe, just regular old pipe, push it up against there and trace it out again. I might even use I might even use this cap on the bottom. I'll probably use this as a template, but I got an idea of where it's going now, so we'll take this off, put it up there, trace it out. Reason I'm doing these measurements, I have a two elbows, they're 30 degree angle to get past the uh, overhang. And I'm trying to make sure that everything's going to work out outside with that before, before I cut that hole. So I'm going to go check a few things. If it's right, we'll cut the hole. If it's not, we'll have to do something else. After further investigation, I believe everything's right. I'm going to drill it and uh, snip it out. There's an art to everything, everything. If a guy uses tin snips every single day, he's gonna have just a perfect pretty hole in seconds. Me, I don't do it all the time, it takes me longer, and it's not gonna look as pretty. Uh, I'll show it to you anyways, guys, but remember that. You can't beat a guy at his own game if he takes pride in his work. Well, there it is, my little hole, and this is the cap. If I can do it without falling off the ladder, see it, it fits through. You know, passes through nicely. Not too big, not too small. You can probably hear the wind blowing through there. Look here, I'll set you guys out there. Check this out. You guys are outside. I'm not, but you are. Enough playing around. Let's uh, take this thing outside and mount it on the outside of the building. What I did was I took this outside, this bracket, and I did have the T mounted on it, and I just marked these holes where they're gonna go outside, guys, and then I drilled the holes through it so I could see where they would end up inside. 
Now, the next step is going to vary for you guys. I'm going to show you what I, what I have to do in my building. It might vary for yours, but this could give you an idea on what you need to do with your building or house. So you can see where I put the holes through as a guide, you know, and then it's like that. So on my building, like I said, it'll vary, but I'm going to do it just like this, guys. Make sure it's nice and level and go ahead and tighten your bolts and nuts up. Something worth mentioning right now is uh, this top plate slides back and forth, in and out, away from the building so you can adjust it after we get the pipe on. So here we are up top, guys. It's going to be hard for me to show you. There is the, uh, this is the board I was telling you about that I just bolted on, and I also bolted it down here, right next to the hole, and there's one on each side of that hole. Now what I'm going to do is take this board right here, right next to it, and put wood screws into these wood screws here and in this board right here, and all the way up, that one, all the way up to the top, guys. Just like that, on both sides. When you go to put this bracket on the outside, it'll mount the uh, it'll mount right to the 2x4s. When you go to screw it in, I mean, uh, you'll hit a 2x4 all the way up through there. It'll be real strong. And there it is, the two boards going all the way to the top. Makes it real strong. The brackets will mount to it. So that's the next step right there is to mount that flange on there. Mistakes were made, guys. That should have been right up against the metal. Uh, but I'll probably have to go back and redo that part. For now, I'm just wanting to see how everything's going to mount up. Here's the other side of the flange, and it just scoots on there like that. It'll slide onto that piece er, like that. So I have an 18 inch overhang. Here's where the offset comes in. I wanna show you guys this, uh, here's a chart. It comes with this uh, deal. I guess you need to find out what manufacturer you're gonna use and figure out what size, what size el elbows you need and how long the pipe uh, needs to be. See, there's a chart you follow. And honestly, I guessed that I needed 30 uh, degree, 30 degree offset uh, elbows. That's what I got, and I got 36 inch pipe. Let's just see how it works. I'm gonna put it together. I believe it'll work. These are the offsets I wanted to show you. Or makes it an offset. That's a 30 degree angle. Comes with two of them. Right there. Comes with four of these rings, you know, to tie everything together, and a couple of uh, clamps to tie it against, a couple of clamps to tie it against the building. I'm mounting my T underneath the uh, support, which is not how you do it. So I've got these uh, stainless steel, like sheet metal screws, and there they are. One, two, and then two on the other side, and that'll lock that T in. So there it is, the unfinished product. 
And guys, I hope you've learned from my mistakes. Like I said, that T right there has to be above that support. This chimney has to be boxed in against the building there, guys, for it to be right. It can't stick out on the outside like it is, and I'll take care of that. I uh, just uh, thought I'd make a video on it. Like I said, if you guys can learn from this, it might save you a little trouble. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Check out my videos. Share it with your friends. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.